my channel. Um, you saw a little montage of me picking and choosing these dolls uh, from the trash bags, as I like to call them. They aren't trash, they are just bags of unwashed dolls. Um, all of these dolls are found at the flea market at uh, different times. Uh, and I do have videos from when I found them on the flea market here on the channel. So if you're interested, you can check that out. But um, uh, finding dolls on the flea market means a lot of doll washing. And basically a lot of time goes into that because yes. Uh, but I wanted to have them here on the channel um, washed and restored. Uh, for some of them, this is the most that I'm gonna do. Uh, for this Millie, for instance, her hair is slightly sticky, but I feel like it's the kind of sticky that will work itself out uh, with time. However, I am just not keeping her. This is why I'm not gonna do anything more for her because, yeah, she's just a Millie. She washed perfectly and she, uh, except for the slightly sticky hair, which, again, as I said, I don't think any more glue will come out of uh, her head. She has no, no other issues, like no chews, the body is perfect, the hair is almost perfect again. If we ignore the stickiness that can be mended with a little bit of uh, baby powder, uh, if you put talc uh, on, on her hair, it won't be sticky anymore and she's a pretty mealy but uh, not something that I care to collect. Uh, then we have this Raya uh, from Ryan the Last Dragon, she's a Hasbro one, which is a very interesting find uh, for something to find at the flea market, she's, she's a Hasbro version, but first off she doesn't look like, like Raya at all to me, I don't know, Raya is cute and has like a, bit, a little bit fuller face, mm, and also this eye is just very <laughs> wonky and uh, if you're one of the regulars on the channel you know that I I just cannot deal with I wonk uh, eyes are very important on those for me also she has the molded on stuff I would have been okay with that if she had the face you know I would have probably found just a better body but um, yeah, she washed very nicely and there is nothing wrong with her. The I wonk um, isn't something that a child would care about, I think, or a parent. So I will just uh, sell her on. I don't uh, intend to keep her. Then this Snow White. Um, I do have her dress. This is a Snow White dress that... Uh, I stitched back together. I do have her original dress, but I will be keeping the dress, not the doll. Uh, she's been sitting with face cream and the pink spots are almost gone. Sorry for my hands. I've been painting with acrylic paint, so I have paint on. But I just won't be keeping her. I don't know what it is about her. I like. I really like the face and the face mold, but... I don't know. I have decided that I don't care too much for her. Maybe it's because the hair isn't perfect or, you know, it has a few pulls here and there. But other than that, I don't know. I just, I'm not very excited about her. Let's say it this way. So I'm not keeping her. Uh, then this guy I am keeping uh, for projects. He has a very nice face. Well, face mode, let's uh, be real, because I don't intend on keeping his face the way it is. And he has good articulation, which makes him a good candidate for repaint. Like, he's fully articulated. And yeah, I think... He will make a good repaint, so he's gonna go in the repaint drawer. Then this my scene girl, who I'm not done restoring, but I'm done cleaning and washing. 
Uh, her hair is very soft, but it's still a little bit frizzy. It just was damaged very badly and uh, these missing holes. Uh, I was thinking, last year I had a moment um, where I was like, I need to size down a little bit and I decided that I'm gonna size down from the mycenes and uh, I had eight mycene dolls. Um, now I have ten I think. Anyways, uh, I chose four of the eight which had issues, which had something, you know, that needed fixing and stuff and put them on for sale. Then someone said they want them and then I was like, okay, I, I am not going to sell them, sorry. <laughs> I will keep them. Uh, so, yeah, I decided that I'm gonna keep my my dolls. Uh, my problem with them is not that I don't like them. I actually like them a lot. But uh, usually they're super beat up. Like they always have missing uh, hair plugs, which means rerouting and stuff. Uh, the bodies are in terrible shape always. They're super cracked like this one. She even has issues at the feet, issues at the hands. So basically... They're in a state where they're just heads um, and need so much work, um, new body bodies and everything, which is going to be super hard to do, but I don't know, I like them, so, uh, so I decided that I uh, will try to restore them over time, basically, and uh, yeah, I didn't get rid of them, so now I have 10 of them, I had 8, now I have 10. Uh, but they're just gonna need a lot of effort to be restored to looking good and yeah but anyways I have an idea how to fix this doll I just need to find the body and um, I have an idea what to do with the hair to fix it um, she soaked for a very long time so I can have this uh, hair they're super sparsely rooted, I don't know, maybe just the, the second hand ones. Maybe if you find her like new in box, they're in good state, but second hand, they're always super beat up, the ones that I find. But they're super pretty, so um, yeah, I'm gonna try to fix her. Then, uh, sorry, I forgot to include her. <laughs> She's another one that I'm keeping and I'm very excited for. She... I think he's um, a knockoff Esmeralda. I think she's Barter Toys uh, type of doll. Yes, Barter it says. And I think she's an Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I have no proof of that other than the fact that she came with this and uh, the bracelets, which kind of pointed me in that direction and I know that dolls like that exist just it's really hard for these dolls uh, to be recognized because their faces are super similar but uh, I had this uh, dress of the character of, of an Esmeralda doll I added the ribbons in the hair and uh, for belt um, the shoes aren't the best thing that I could choose but yeah I just uh, forgot to take her because she was uh, on my desk because I worked a little bit uh, more on her her hair uh, restored very nicely it's like horse mane super thick and just shiny and very pretty but uh, yeah I do have um, this appreciation or off brand or knock off dolls, which is, uh, you know, that kind of doll. But uh, yeah, I forgot to put her in the video, so here is this little addition back to the end of the video. Mm, this last girl, um, her hair was in very bad shape, as you probably saw in the little um, intro part, it was super matted, but as you can see. It restored like perfect. Can I focus on? There we go. I used the hair straightener, and uh, I think this is Tecna 
or techna, techna or techna. I'm not sure how you say it with hna or kna. <laughs> techna or techna. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, whatever um, way you pronounce the name, I don't have her. I have like a small Lynx collection and I don't have a techna uh, in it. Um, the dress, by the way, uh, it was in a very bad shape. The the bodice was discolored and uh, the under panties were torn. So I stitched up the panties and uh, I used glue and I put it on the bodice. Then I used um, glitter and uh, I put glitter on the glue. Then I let it dry. Then I put glue on top of the glitter and this way I restored the bodies like you know it's not perfect but uh, it is much better than what it was before she already had her shoes uh, she doesn't have um, the wings but that's okay and also I did use elastic to kind of keep the dress on her because as you can see she's half showing um, boobage here which is not uh, ideal i don't know why the dress is so ill-fitting but uh, I, I just like the doll and she's a character that i don't have and her face isn't wonky sometimes uh, with these dolls mm, i just cannot stand how wonky the faces are so you know i get rid of them but this one i really like and i will be keeping her adding her to my collection then i have some doll laundry maybe some of the things i've shown you some not um the only thing that i'm really curious is who is this dress originally from i know it's original barbie dress because it has uh this type of can i actually do it there we go <laughs> genuine barbie thingy but I have no idea who is the dress from. Obviously a doll with the hourglass shape. But I don't know any more than that. So if you know please let me know. And yeah I think the other things I have shown you. This is the outfit that he came with. But uh, that's not important because he's not gonna be a Max Steel doll anymore. Uh, I think he's Max Steel, he's from Hasbro and has the M, so he has to be, you know, Max Steel. Uh, yeah, I think we covered everything. Um, tell me, do you like the change? Which of these dolls would you keep? Are they like exciting finds or not? Uh, have you found something cool at the flea market recently? Or are you not going because it's uh, cold or maybe it's not cold where you're from? And uh, if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Ellie, Bulgarian doll collector, adult doll collector. This is a channel for adults. Uh, I just, you know, I like dolls. I repaint, I collect, I restore, I find them at the flea market, I buy them new and stuff like that. I like modifying them. And, uh, you know, uh, if you like that kind of thing, I have a lot of videos already on the channel, which you can check out. And uh, if you happen to like them, you can press the subscribe button and subscribe. And a uh, huge thank you to everyone who has sub subscribed recently and uh, not only recently. Uh, huge thanks to everyone who comes back to watch my videos every time. You guys are awesome. I'm loving uh, that the channel is it's not growing super fast, but every day I... Uh, login I see a few new people which is amazing and makes me really really happy so just a huge thank you to uh, my uh, old time supporters and uh, a welcome to everyone new who decides to subscribe uh, or to just come back because I know some people who watch the videos actually watch them without account so they come back and uh, just watch which is appreciated and uh, is also important thank you so much for being so awesome 
I will see you in the comments. I try to always answer all of the comments. Uh, still a relatively small channel, so it's uh, on the easy side to, to do so as long as, you know, YouTube tells me that they have comments, but I, I go and check. I will see you in the comments and uh, come back with another day or two for another video. Uh, bye for now.